I actually did this with my son the other day who was having difficulty um, subtracting. So what we ended up doing was using sums of 10 to help us with subtraction because he's a stronger add, he's stronger add addition than he is subtraction. I think most of us are. So I just thought I would do a quick video to show you how we did this. I'm gonna write it out, but eventually this will all become mental and it ends up going a lot faster. So we're gonna use a problem like 15 minus eight. And what you're gonna ask yourself is, eight, what do I need to add to eight to get to 10? So eight plus two equals 10. And most of us know um, our 10 sums pretty quickly. So we're gonna take that two. And then we have to ask ourselves from 10 to get to 15, what do we have to add? So 10 plus five equals 15. Again, those are easy sums that we can do in our head. And then we just add those two numbers together. So five plus two, the answer would be seven. So that's one um, way to do it. And I kind of wrote it out there, but eventually, like I said, you'll be doing this mental math. So let's try 17 minus um, four. So we're gonna ask ourselves, what do we need to add to four to get to 10? And that is six. And then we need another seven to get to 17. And when we add those up quick, six plus seven is 13. We know that was quick because six plus six um, equals 12. So, and then we have another one. Let's do um, 12 minus seven. So we're gonna say seven plus three gets us to 10. And then we have to add another two to that. So three plus two, and that will get us. So we'll do three plus two equals, the answer is five. And again, once you get to 10, you're really just gonna add that ones place. So it should go pretty quickly here. Now let's do 14 minus eight. So again, eight plus two will get you to 10. And then you have four more. So two plus four equals six. So even though this seems like I'm writing it out again, this will be all um, mental and you can work on doing this in your head. So let's try another couple problems. I'm gonna go ahead and erase this here. And let's do some more. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple more here. We're gonna do 17 minus five. So we're gonna ask ourselves five plus five gets us to 10, and then we're gonna add another seven to that. So five plus seven equals 12. 18 minus seven equals, so seven plus three gets us to 10. So eight, three plus another eight more is going to be 11. I'm gonna write these up again so you can see them, what I'm doing in my head. Here we've got 16 minus four. So again, four plus six is what gets us to 10. And then we've got six more. Six plus six is 12. Okay, let's do another one. 13 minus five. So we're gonna do five plus five is gonna get us to 10. And another three is eight. So see, I'm just putting this in my head now. 11 minus nine, nine plus one gets us to 10 plus one more, so the answer is two. And that was a fairly simple one, but hopefully um, you'll understand the strategy.